Hey there guys, Winnie here. Welcome back. Let's play Red Day of our damn Sunday. Rootin' tootin', cowboy shootin'. Everyone's in their goddamn pajamas again. And we're already auto-saving. What happened? Did someone die? Maybe not. Warther. Warther. There I go, hit and select again. Don't even don't even say it, Bill, shut up. Uh okay. I think John Marston's our only mission, actually. Yeah, seems like it. All right. I'm scaring. Damn it, Bill. Damn it, Bill. Good morning. I'm Bill. Hey, Tilly. Hi. Hey, you recover from Sean's party? That's right. I remember what we did last time now. Wow, we. Anyways, now that that party is done, let's continue the story, shall we? And get this LP a moving. Hey, Go. Arthur. What you got what for you me? <laughs> so Arthur Uncle Jiggles. Told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Another train. Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? Well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is... kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Okay. Seems simple enough, right? Wrong! Wagons that could be stolen for John are blipped with a wagon wheel and a J. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. What is, what is, what is this? What is, Charles wants me to go hunting with him? Charles! Should we go hunting with Charles? Should we? There might be some good lessons to be learned there. Maybe. Eh, I'll pass on it for now. We're on a mission. Stop hitting select. If I hit select one more time, when I'm trying to go to the map, I'm going to kill someone. Hey, what, what is this now? Maco. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hmm. Okay, let's go get that corn wall oil wagon. Corn oil wall wagon. Okay, so this place is pretty guarded then. This ain't a public attraction. All right, easy now. Hello. All right, then. This is a warning. Sorry. I'll stop messing with you now. You look dumb. I mean... Woo! Hey, no. That's my wagon. Why did I shoot the horse? Why, why would you shoot the horse? Don't shoot the horses. Come back. I need my horse. Where is he at? There's my horse. There's my horse. Hmm. Health on it? Sure. Oh, whoa. Come on. Horses like 
dilly dallying, running zig and zags. Oh, did that oil wagon get away? No, but the horses on it are dead. What a rip. And there's a hole in it. Oh, man. All right. We'll go back and we'll get the other one. There's another one here. I was expecting to scare the horses off or at least stealthily take out a guard or something, maybe, and then just go from there, but that plan did not work out. So we'll be more direct this time. <laughs> That's one way to get off of a horse. Oh man, I was just going to my inventory. All right. Now I know. Going guns a blazing. And we either go after the one that ran away, which I don't think we can anymore. Or we go. Yeah, it's just the one that's parked left now. Okay. All right. Why is my horse in there? Man, I can't sneak this thing. Maybe coming back at night might be a better idea. Then again, who knows? Don't worry about it. I said don't worry about it. Look, I'm trying. Oh, I did not mean to do that once again. Trying to open the map. Uh, I didn't mean to cause a ruckus, my friend. Why isn't this giving me like a thing? There we go. Oh man, shot a hole in it. All right, I swear to God, if you guys kill these horses, I swear on my life, I'm gonna shoot you down. Come after you. Come at you like a spider monkey. All right. They only sent one guy to chase me. He successfully shot one hole. Okay, they sent more. I was kind of suspicious about them only sending one guy after me. That seemed odd, but there was the rest. Glad my horse is keeping up. All right, well, I can put that away. Gonna have to find myself a hat. <laughs> or just wait till I get back on my horse and re-equip my hat. Man, we are leaking oil everywhere, man. Seems gonna be empty by the time I get it there. Man, I could have, uh. Probably could have handled that whole situation better. But I didn't. I didn't want to go in there guns a blazing and have, like, a big shootout. I guess if I really wanted to take it stealthily, like I said, I should have done it at nighttime. If only that, that first wagon, if the horses didn't get hit by a train, I would have been, would have been golden. Here we are. As we pour oil everywhere. Jesus. What a disaster. Yeah. 
All right. I just got to go back to camp. Sounds good. Oh my god, if I... I oh, wee, wow, wee, wow, wee. I hit select once again. There's a stable here. It's kind of an odd place for a stable, right? Seems kind of out of the middle of nowhere. Oh well. Alright, back to camp I go. Oh, mama. Sure. The name's William. Hello, William. Bootstrap Bill Turner. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly. And nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. I've never done this before. I'll say I'm pretty sure I have yarrow though. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. I, I never came across this in my first playthrough of this game. This is so strange. Does he just collect herbs? You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, oh. I know. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Huh. Interesting. All right, well. Discovering new things, I guess. I should probably, uh, oops, I mean, I mean, you should probably put your hat back on, Arthur. All right. Okay, back on to our adventure. Okay there. Happy to have you spend some time. Feel near Is there a reason why your eyes are closed? Are you sleeping? I can't make nothing. I'm just a big old dum dum. Oh, I can make some things. Split point cartridges. Ooh wee. What does snake oil do? I guess I can craft this. Fully restores dead eye and fortifies moderately. Interesting. Fully restores health and fortifies. Yeah. Let's make a health cure. Train, huh? Yeah, beats the train, you know what they say. Train beaten. Fine day out, huh? Yeah, real great. Thanks, son, for the campfire. See you later. Yep. That. That's not it. my horse. Ow! That's not my horse! Ah! I can't. 
can't even begin to tell you how often that happens. Like, even in my first playthrough of this game, I would constantly either shoot people on accident or get on people's horses by accident. <laughs> I didn't mean to. But now I can rob you sufficiently. Some goodies in here. Gorma room. Hmm. Pistol cartridges. This is just meat. Yike. I'm taking your fish. It's my fish. Sockeye salmon. Man, how come, like, when you're near two horses, when you press Y, you should just get on your horse, you know? Maybe that would be a good system. We have a question mark on our map. Oh, which means that we have a camp favor. You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? Is that you, Lenny? The whole world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. This there rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so. I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just... I'm realistic about what's coming. But I... I can't kill an animal. Needlessly. I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur, you're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Ain't that the truth? Um, depressing, dark, and serious. Just like everything we've come to love about Arthur. Um, I could have swore that was a camp favor. Maybe it's just conversation. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we gonna hit that bank I told you about? We'll see. Hmm. I know there are certain camp favors you run into where people are actually gonna be like, uh, Can you go get me a pen? What is this, a robbery? Well, yeah, rob a homestead. Well, not right now, Javier. John. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. Oh, I kicked I my I think desk. we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Man, my, my nose is all plugged up. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Oh, I, I done did it again, didn't I? Um, Abigail has a mission for us now. I did not mean to put that on there. Come here. Thank you. And then we got to meet Mike outside Strawberry. Strawberry.
You know what? Let's rob this homestead. I've actually never done that before. Hey, Javier. I heard about a house. Okay. Could be interesting. What kind okay. of a house? Like a know. big house? Like a small house? A, a brick house? They said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Robbing criminals? Exactly. Just take a look. <laughs> it's all we're doing. On the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure. More or less. Uh, yeah, sure. I totally know where Cumberland Falls is. <laughs> uh. uh. Come on, Javier. Not your horse and let's go. Is he just gonna lead the way? Come back! Man, my nose is super plugged up. What the hell happened? But yeah, these are a uh, side mission, so you don't have to do these, <laughs> but you can. And I'm definitely gonna do this one. Despacio. Okay, Despacito. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Um, Follow me. That way we can get some money, and we can use that money to put in the camp funds. Okay. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. At least I, I brought sure all my we weapons. Run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Yeah, sounds great. Okay, we're sneaky boys now. Oh, big place, right? Oh. Wait, what are we looking at? That? You got your binoculars? <laughs> My binoculars? Of course I do. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Horse. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And how do you propose we do idea. that? Follow me. Okay. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. The coast seems clear so far. Easier to run yeah, away. So far. When I get shot at. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Uh-oh. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Maybe you hunt a pig this time once, Mal. Creepers, fish, don't score notions of the dippy flimmings. Just stay quiet. Are they speaking their own dialect or are they just Irish? <laughs> Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes I was. You can hardly gag all day now, day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt. I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. 
go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. <laughs> <laughs> they're just Irish. Here. Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What rock? Kind of distraction. You'll see. He wasn't pointing to this rock. <laughs> My nose. He wasn't pointing to this rock at all. I am actively getting more sick as I record. What is going on? Okay. He lit on fire. Why did you go back down, Arthur? Are you trying to make me look like a damn fool? Shit. Don't worry. Uh, oh, there's my repeater. Oh, that was a woman! season. Hello. Oh, man in the shoulder. Ah! Hold on, I'm gonna loot them. I don't see any more of them. Alright, quick. Let's look for the stash. They weren't shy about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. <laughs> As I don't look in there first. Horses are freaking out. All right. Ah. What do we got? I mean, we didn't really have to kill all these people. It's probably a bit overkill, you know? Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. There's a chest up here, you dingus. Hey Arthur, give me a hand here. Hold on there, Carol. I'll be there in a second. Ooh wee! Money stacks, money stacks, jewelry bags. Nice. Eey. Money or not, come on. What if I don't? What if I already found my own money, huh, <laughs> Javier? <laughs> Look what we have here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? How much yeah. is that? You take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Sounds good. <coughs> How much was that? 175. Well, what's the camp's take? Or is it because it's a home robbery the camp doesn't actually get a take? Some crankers. Oh my god, you cannot climb on top of everything. Can't carry any more cigarettes. I guess we'll just kind of search around, see what we can find. I don't see anything too useful in here. Hey, 
hair tonic? <laughs> Use it to accelerate the growth of your hair. And pomade. I know what pomade does. A hair accelerator, that's crazy. Ooh, weapons case, eh? What do we have y'all? Looks dingy as fuck. A pump action shotgun. Uh, let's clean this with our gun oil. Dang! Is that better than double barrel shotgun? It's gotta be, right? Like the the fire rate on it has to be like incredible. I mean, I'm sure the the power on it probably isn't as much, but I mean, a shotgun's a shotgun. And when it comes to like close quarters like that, it's about how fast you can shoot it, not about how much power it has. Some beds. Okay. Anything up here? A chesticle. Some room. Is that it? Yeah. Whoop. This is just like an entrance. Hold on, there's a medical box. Health gear. Yeah, I'm full on that. Okay. Yep, I don't think there's anything else. Um, unless there's something in here. Oh, whatever it is, I can't hold more of it. Oh, there's gun oil right there. Nice. Bourbon, premium cigarettes. Yeah, can't hold any more of any of that stuff. Okay. I think that's about all there is to find here, right? Well, well, well. Home robbery success. Um. John Mars. Oh, meet him at the train. Yeah, we could do that. Um, you know what? How long have I been recording for? Let me check that real quick. Okay. Um, shoot. I don't know if I have enough to cut out to make a full episode out of this. Predator bait. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, I'll probably just call it there. And then I will meet you guys next time on Let's Play uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. yeah. I guess they're hitched. I can't really tell them to run. Alright. Yeah. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2. This has been your host, Sasper Joweenie, on this channel. Bye bye for now.